The next problem in the chapter electromagnetic induction is mutual inductance. It is represented by the term capital letter M. So, the mutual inductance is the phenomenon in which EMF is being induced in one coil due to change in magnetic flux in the neighboring coil. So, let us consider two solenoids here. One is S1 and one is S2 here. Here, EMF is being induced in one coil or maybe let us consider that EMF is being induced in the uh, solenoid S2 because of the S1 here, solenoid S1 or EMF is being induced in the solenoid S1 because of the solenoid S2. So this phenomenon is called as mutual inductance. Here EMF will be induced in one coil due to the change in magnetic flux in the neighboring coil. So let us derive the expression for mutual inductance here. So let us take two solenoids, one is S1 and one is S2. These two solenoids are of the length L. Let N1 be the number of turns, that is here, number of turns in the solenoid S1 and N2 be the number of turns in the solenoid S2 here. Then N1 be the small letter N1. Let the small letter N1 be the number of turns per unit length in the solenoid S1 and N2 be the number of turns per unit length in the second solenoid that is S2 here. Let N1 be capital letter N1 be the number of turns in the first solenoid N1 and N2 be the number of turns in the solenoid S2. Let small letter N1 be the number of turns per unit length that is N1 by L in solenoid N1 and N2 small letter N2 be the number of turns in the second the second solenoid S2 that is N2 by L. So here uh, the current I2 is induced I2 is induced in the solenoid S2. I2 is induced in the second solenoid S2 and the magnetic field B2 is formed here. Magnetic field B2 is formed here. So, now this is because of the magnetic flux phi 1 is directly proportional to I2. So, here the current I2 is formed because of the change in magnetic flux in the first coil, first solenoid that is phi 1. It will have number of terms N1. So, N1 phi 1 is directly proportional to I2. The current I2 is formed because of the chain magnetic flux phi 1 here that is present in the now that is due to the number of terms that is present in the first solenoid N1 here. Okay. Now let us do let us uh, remove this directly proportional symbol here. So N1 phi 1 is equal to we shall put a constant in the place of the proportionality symbol. That is M12 I2. So M12 represents that mutual inductance of first solenoid with respect to second solenoid. Mutual inductance of first solenoid with respect to second solenoid M12 it is. Okay. Now let us take this M12 to the left hand side and put everything towards right hand side. M1 phi 1 divided by phi. I2. Okay. Now let us take this phi 1 here. Phi 1 is given by the magnetic flux is given by, I hope you all know that it is given by dA cos theta. The angle theta is 0, so cos 0 is 1 here. So phi 1 is equal to, so we have a magnetic field only that is B2 here. So it will be B2 that is and that will be acting on the area A1 or to the solenoid S1 there. So it will be A1 here. So this solenoid is in the shape of a circle here. It is in the shape of a circle. So A dot circle is given by A is equal to 
pi r square. So pi 1, pi 1 is equal to b to pi r square. So this since the area a1 is given, so the radius will also be here r1. So the radius r1 is the radius of the solenoid S1. The radius R2 will be the radius of the solenoid S2. So let us substitute this phi in, in the place of this one. So let us take this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. So let us substitute equation number 2 in equation 1 here. M1 2 is equal to N1 uh, B 2 pi R1 square divided by I 2. Okay, now here B is given by mu naught N I. B is given by mu naught N I. So here B is B is plus B is for the second magnetic field is B2 here. So B2 will be equal to mu naught N2 I2. So B2 will be equal to mu naught N2 I2. And here we have N1 here. Only we have N1. So N1 only you may N1 here. You can see here, see here. Small number N1 is equal to number of turns per unit and that is N1 by N. So if we need only N1 here. We should put this L to the left hand side. So N1 will be equal to small letter N1 into L. So let us substitute these two things onto our equation. So M1 2 will be equal to N1 as N1 L. P2 is mu naught N2 I 2 pi r1 square divided by i2. So, a2, a2 will get cancel, cancel out. So, then the remaining m12 is equal to n1 n2 n mu naught pi r1 square so this is the expression for m12 this is the mutual inductance of first solenoid with respect to second solenoid let us write the mutual inductance of second solenoid with respect to first solenoid so if you prove that we will get the reverse of this equation that is n1 so we will have n2 in the place of n1 and n1 in the place of n2 l mu naught pi R1 square. So we will have we will get the same equation, but we will have n1 in the place of n2 and n2 in the place of n1. That's it. So both the equations they are same here. So m1 2 is equal to m21. So that is equal to capital M itself. So let us write here capital M is equal to n1 n2 l mu naught pi R1 square. So this is the expression for mutual inductance. The next topic is relation between induced EMF and mutual inductance. So we know the expression N1 pi 1 is equal to M i2 because M12 is equal to M here. So mutual inductance of first solenoid right, with respect to second right, is always equal to mutual inductance itself. I taught you in the last derivation this thing. So I have substituted that directly here. Now let us differentiate this with respect to time here. So d by d into n1 pi 1 is equal to d by d of m i 2 here. So now let us Substitute, let us put negative symbol on both sides or let us multiply negative symbols on both sides here. 
Before doing that, let us take the call, the call all stands for M1 T5 dt into I1 is equal to M into T1 dt of I2. So here mutual inductance cannot vary. So it is constant here. Even here N1 is constant. Number of terms in the first solenoid N1 plus solenoid S1 is also constant here. So since these two are constant, I have taken out them. So now let us substitute the negative symbol minus N1 T5 1 by T T is equal to minus M T I2 by T T. So now this term, this complete term explains that Faraday's law of induction. So E is equal to minus D pi by D T. So this is this is D Faraday's law of induction. So but we have a extra term N1 here that is the number of terms in the first subdivide S1 here. So only this thing is extra here, but still it symbolizes it's in the form of it, uh, Faraday's law of induction itself. So I substitute that E is equal to minus M into T I 2 by T T. So this is the relation between the induced EMF and mutual inductance. The next topic is self-inductance. So self-inductance is the phenomenon in which the EMF is being induced in one coil due to change in magnetic field in the same coil. So I will be telling the phenomenon in which the EMF is being induced in one coil due to change in magnetic flux in the same coil. Whereas in the mutual inductance, we observe that the phenomenon in which the EMF is being induced in one coil due to change in magnetic flux in the neighboring coil. But in the self-inductance, self means itself. So, so EMF is being induced in the same coil due to change in magnetic flux in that coil itself. The next, the next topic is the relation between induced EMF and self-inductance. So, self-inductance is the phenomenon in which I told you earlier that I earlier earlier itself the phenomenon in which in, induced EMF is induced in one coil due to change in magnetic flux in that same coil itself. So, here phi B is directly proportional to I here. So, Magnetic flux in the same coil and current in the same coil itself. So N phi B is equal to I. Or N phi B is directly proportional to I here. So now let us remove this proportionality symbol here. N phi B is equal to L I. So L represents the self inductance here or coefficient of self inductance. So N phi B is equal to L I. So now let us take the expression for uh, the Faraday's law of induction E is equal to minus N into D phi by dt. So here or D into uh, even this can be written as E is equal to minus D N phi by d t. Here we have the suffix b. So d phi b d phi b because of the magnetic field here. Now let us substitute the value of n phi b onto this equation here. So it becomes e is equal to minus d phi d t into so in the place of n phi b we have n i here into l i. So e is equal to so here l is constant here. So let us put this the outside the equation. So minus l d i by t. So this is the relation between induced EMF and self inductance. Let us derive the expression for self inductance l. So let us consider a solenoid 
uh, which has n number of turns and which has uh, which is producing the self inductance l here so we know that l phi is equal to l i we know this so now what we have to do is so let us take uh, the magnetic flux here phi phi is equal to b a cos theta phi is equal to b a cos theta so since theta is equal to 0 degree here cos 0 is 1 so phi is equal to b a it will be now we shall take the magnetic field here that is b here b is given by mu naught n i so since it is only one magnetic field so it will be like this itself let us substitute let us take this one as equation number one and this as equation number two and this as equation number three let us substitute these two and three in the equation one n phi is equal to uh, b sorry l let us take this equation now. Now let us substitute everything here. So n. So even n could be written as so number of turns n n is equal to number of turns per unit length. So n so capital letter n will be equal to n into l here number of turns into length number of turns per unit length into length it will be so n l so phi will be equal to b a is equal to l i so n l b is given by u not n i is equal to l i i i will get cancel each other so n into n is n square so l is equal to n square l mu not uh, here we have one more term here. So A we have here. So A will be here. So A we have. So mu naught L, mu naught L, N square A. So this is the expression for self-inductance.